Hello everyone, I'm Grey Cook, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 205 of Factorio with Angels and Bob's Moss. Uh, we have just been working a little bit on improving our silicon, or monosilicon I guess, production. Because we were all out. We are basically still all out, but at least we have some on the belt now. Hopefully that will get us a little somewhere. Hopefully this will get a little bit more filled before it leaves. <laughs> Let's just check that these are all running. All machines doing silicon. Two more doing silicon. One, two, three, four more doing it at full speed. We did also just improve or increase the amount of smelting we have. We have too many machines for this. This can produce 120 molten silicon every 4 seconds. They all have the same crafting speed, so let's discard that. This takes 5, these take 40, is it 4 seconds, no 6, and 6, so 200 every 6 seconds, 2 thirds of that is what, 133 every 4 seconds, so we do have a bit more consumption than production, but that's okay. It's the only way we can use all of the output from this. Do we want even more though? Guess we do. That's why not. We do need to bring nitrogen, we just need to remember that. Okay. Oh. And more power. Now we might start lagging like silicon ingots. Or maybe not. Apparently we had a bag up before. I guess these do produce 24 every 4 seconds with a cracking speed of 3. That's 6 per second, that's 18 every second. So quite a lot. That's okay. So we've increased it a little more. That should be good. Where did I park plane? Right then. Good, that's pretty fast. It doesn't really matter if we send it back faster cause this wagon won't get full anyway, I don't think. Let's send it anyway, though.
Good, so this build is now full. Good to see. This is good. Now we could increase our well the build speed of this silicon as well if we wanted to. But it might be okay for now. Actually, we don't have anything left up here, so it would probably be a good idea. Even if we can't sustain this for very long. In case we actually got our production up. It helps a lot, so let's do it. And we actually got more in with this train, that's good. Good news indeed. So we have picked up the production quite a bit. Yeah, there's already, already more than 1500 waiting. Okay. Good, good. Insert a capacity. Almost done with the non-infinite stuff. How is this doing? Not very really well. Rubber fuel. Have forgotten our first raid diet. Still missing thermal electric thingy. So we haven't got our first plutonium plus cobalt something. Cobalt eight something something. Whatever it was called. This is sodium cobalt eight, of course. Obviously. Let's have this train car here. I'm not sure if there's plutonium on it yet. Doesn't look like it. So they would be going in here. Oh, are we out of uranium? Yes, apparently. Wait. These are supposed to be removed. I wanted to decrease the amount of uranium 235 we made. Hmm. Oh well. Actually, we should probably go and fix that. Where did we leave the plane this time? Wait, what? Did I jump out of it while it was moving or something? Did I? Then it's long gone. Uh, Did we leave it down here? We did. Did I? Oh yeah, we upgraded all the rails, of course. Oh, not the rails, but the belt. So we ran the whole way, yes. Okay, that makes sense. Uranium. Let's remove 
Oh, we already removed the requester chests. That makes sense. So. Oops. Don't put it in there, please. Mirror. Put it over here instead. Uh, uranium. Two, three, eight. And two, three, five. Let's cut this as well. There's really no reason for that to exist. This as well. So these are producing just to make two, three, eight. At least main. And then over here we're turning that into plutonium. Three for one. Well, apparently we need more of the basic processing. You need to do your stuff, I guess, so we don't waste anything. The problem is that we don't have enough uranium for this, but we can increase our uranium sorting. So I guess we should be working on that. We have more centrifuges. Should we put those down? Maybe, maybe not. So the uranium requires what? Lots of crystals. We need to upgrade all of these as well. We don't need to, but I, we should. I feel that. Why did I decide to put that all the way down there? That's all of the tier fours. Don't we have tier four hydro plants? Is that not possible? Apparently not. We got salination plants. Oh, that's okay. Are we okay with just a doubling of our uranium? Probably not. 
Let's just make some up here as well. Just to split everything out so much that we don't know anything about where it is anymore. Because that's smart, right? Freeze there for now. Oh. Robobot. So these are working a good amount more, and these are working some more. Some of them are even outputting some of that plutonium, so that's good news. That means we have some up here, and we can send this plane again. And then we probably have more plutonium than we ever needed this base. So back to the challenge of rocket fuel. Captures are made right there. The actual fuel is made here. No, yeah. It's low on power. Everything is low on power. But otherwise, is it just not working? No. Not enough rocket fuel capsules. We should go and have a look at our power production. Uh, what is it where we can kawaii down there? So a bunch of pipe, well not that much actually. A bunch of heat pipe. That's a lot. We will put that in the chest, I guess. Some turbines, some power poles we have, some water we have, some heat exchangers. Let's just bring it out, I guess. Some fluid tanks. We have tier 3 now, I think. We are only using tier 1 so far. But that just makes it better. Yep. And insert us into the heat producer and some resistance twist. So the heat producer thing we were building down here. We probably do not need 2000 heat pipe. Probably not 200 of these either. Whoops, we don't want them there. Right. Let's go with this. Unless we are all out of carbon and that's why we're low on power, but I don't think that's the case. And nope. We have just started using a lot more. We can't really move around in there. So let's go up along the side. So this should be fine, right? Yes. 
inserter, capa oh, stack inserter, capacity button, let's do normal inserters as well. So we need these tanks instead. And this should probably go to a lot higher than how much can be in here. 75k, so 225. But does it really matter if this gets lower or not? Nah, if this is fine. Should we have gone with higher tier of these? Hmm. It would probably help, but... I'm not that worried about this power. Until we get the brown out like this where we can't even insert stuff. Then I start to worry, of course. Up here because we added things. I guess that's one of the problems with connecting everything together. Because these, what, 16 thingies stole a lot of the heat. And that's probably the real reason we had a brownout here. Oh, Carbon, you had better come bring us some more before we run out again. Just need a little more heat. Then we're back on track. Okay, now it should start. Five more degrees. So I need to be a little more careful with how many I add at any one time. So now this starts producing again. It all picks up. The robots need to be charged before they can work, though.
we should finish these, otherwise we have some... What are they called? Heat sources that will just burn for no reason at all. So the temperature of this is now 500. And these are 480 ish, 87. If we just add two up here, they will start heating up and all of these will start losing heat. Or maybe not all of them. Well, this should start losing heat and that should affect its neighbor. Well, let's get these finished. On underground pipe? No, we have some. Oh, it's water bombs. Okay. I should have brought a lot more of those, I guess. Let's actually raise this to 200k. It just means that we have a battery of power. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, dang it. Okay, for both of them. Copy. Paste. And we can paste on top of these. Then we should take a blueprint over here instead. And then we should replace all of these tanks. So tanks and water bombs. Let's just steal some of the power while we are away. Yeah. A lot of bees are not high enough anymore. Also, nah. Also nothing. Other than we should keep these up. Water boss and storage tanks. Water. You. Power is still low. Storage tanks in here. Can we get a high tier? Not yet. We can then. The plane. Oh, I took it back up there. The only problem with all of this is how much carbon it actually takes. It won't scale forever, I guess. Maybe it will, but it would require tremendous amounts of carbon. 
So let's finish replacing tanks on this side. Okay, done. Oh yeah, we already have the high tier tanks up there. Let's get larger storage tanks then. And after that we should maybe focus on higher tier heat exchangers, heat sources. I'm not sure if they are more effective or efficient. Or if they're just faster maybe, but I guess I really want them to be more efficient. But that's not really possible in Victoria, right? At least not with normal mechanics. You can't get more power out of any fuel than the fuel says it has. Unless you can process the fuel, of course. So, did we drain them all of the heat again? A little bit. And we have pipe and a lot of stuff. Are we done? Power pulse where? Built. Good. Satisfaction is low because we drained a lot of the heat. That should be back up. Silver, if we wanted to heat pipes, I'm guessing they can just transform the heat or what? Transfer it further, faster, something? I'm not sure.
pretty good. And we're doing good on power again. How about we make this connection up here now? And then we can start expanding downwards instead. So the robots don't have to carry stuff further and further. Also, there is the risk that they can't even keep up as it is now. They seem to be doing fine, action. Good, good. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.